Hello. Today, our focus will be on the content library, one of the key features of Aurelia and Musician 5. The content library contains hundreds of audio recordings and notation excerpts. These are used to provide students and teachers with an almost endless number of high quality questions for both junior and advanced students. You can also import your own notation and audio examples, and these can be included in theory and oral worksheets. The included notation editor even allows you to create your own scores. Let's take a look at our library screen. On the left, we have our list of composers with relevant works underneath. Looking at Bach, the first work shown is a two-part invention as a notation excerpt, which we can easily view and play. We also have the air on a g-string, which is an audio recording. You can see the different icons indicating the different types of media. The library also contains images, great for multiple choice questions, and MIDI files. The library has lots of content and is always expanding. To make it easy to find things, we have a convenient search function. Let's search for a melodic dictation question featuring Swan Lake by Tchaikovsky. We can now choose and preview our question on the right. We've entered our answer and can now submit it for assessment. We did get a few notes wrong. As you can see, the student gets quality feedback. They can play back any of the notation items, as well as listening to the original question. Before we move on, I'll just emphasise, our melodic dictation question used an audio recording with real musicians playing real instruments combined with notation entry and automatic assessment. I'd now like to show you how to bring your own content into the library. Firstly, we'll import some notation via Music XML that you may have created in Sibelius, Finale or NoteFlight. I'll choose Import Files and then I select my Music XML file. I give it a name and choose Composer. And I can also assign various other properties that will assist us with searching at a later stage. You'll notice the Tags field. This is very handy and allows you to quickly link content to curriculum. Again, making it easy to find items in your library. And we can now see and edit our notation, safely stored in our library and ready for use in questions. Let's now import some audio, 
in this case an mp3 file. Again, we give our work a name and assign the composer. Now, the work we imported is 9 minutes 50 seconds, and it would be unusual to present a student with such a lengthy example. Instead, you would edit and split the work using an audio editor, creating a messy collection of small files, a horrible and time-consuming process. We've made this all much easier, allowing you to create extracts of any audio or notation without altering the original file. Let's create an extract now. You can see the waveform and various other properties for our new extract. We're wanting to create an extract that is 8 bars long, featuring the horn break towards the end of the piece. I'll select a starting point for our playback and zoom in a little. And then, while the work is playing, I'll use these buttons to set the start and end points for our range. We can now listen to our extract, see the starting and ending times, and also its length. Our new extract can now be used in any of our questions. This feature will save you loads of time and makes it so simple to work with quality audio recordings. Earlier, I showed you a melodic dictation question highlighting audio playback and notation entry. However, the library supports many different question types. Multiple choice, notation entry, notation highlighting, harmonic dictation and analysis, and tapping. Creating all these questions is covered in other videos but in this library introduction, I'll just show you three more examples. Firstly, a multiple choice question in Musician. This compositional devices question uses notation as the answer type. Now, a chord analysis question in Musician. You'll see the notation is shown, and the student has to enter the chord symbols. And lastly, an instrument recognition question in Aurelia. This is multiple choice, with text answers and an audio recording playing. That concludes our introduction to the content library. A truly amazing way to manage content and deliver high quality questions to your students. Questions that can be used for practice, integrated into a course, or used for a test or examination. Please check out our other training videos, particularly those that cover question creation in detail. Thanks for watching.